Set five for you in Colorado Springs. That's where Pride Fest will have special meaning this month. Yeah, they're going to honor the victims of the Club Q shooting. And as our Jasmine Arenas explains, they'll also honor a hero on Saturday. The Pikes Peak Pride celebration this weekend is not only a celebration of pride, but it's also a way to keep the memory alive of those who lost their lives more than six months ago. The local veteran who helped save so many lives that night is leading this weekend's celebration. It was the first time I cried when somebody asked me to do something. Rich Fierro is recognized as a hero for stopping the Club Q shooter. He's been celebrating pride with his family in Colorado Springs for five years, but this year will be different. Before the the LGBTQ community in this environment right now to open their arms to a straight guy to lead their parade, to me, that was the most touching, most important thing out of all of this. A little over six months ago, Fierro and his family were at Club Q in Colorado Springs, supporting a friend when a gunman opened fire, taking the lives of five people, including his daughter's boyfriend, Raymond Green Vance. Our little table of six people, we, we came out as five. But we spent that time as a group of six, happy as can be, in an environment that was promoting everybody to be themselves. And it was a beautiful thing. Fierro tackled the gunman and disarmed him. Till this day, Fierro and his family are dealing with the aftermath of that night. You can't get away from it. You'll always look at your scars. You'll always look at those things. And then you'll have the nightmare that comes up randomly or the, the noise or the smell that reminds you of it. So It's trauma they're dealing with now but they're holding on to their community. We all had a heroic moment in there. Um, and that's why I always say that the whole room is my family now. And I, I don't take that lightly. Remembering their intentions that night helps them move along. We all were just having a great time. And that is something that I hope resonates with folks is there was nothing negative going on until someone came to destroy that. On Saturday, there will be a ceremony and tribute to honor and remember the victims. And on Sunday will be the parade in Colorado Springs. Jasmine Adenas covering Colorado first.